Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Dirt Bike Channel. I'm your host, Kyle Brotherson, and today I want to tell you a little story about when my throttle came apart out on a ride with my two boys on this smart carb. Let's get into it. Okay, just so when we just when we thought everything was cool, um, I've broken my throttle cable somehow. So I pulled my throttle off. And uh, this is with the, this is a stock throttle cable. That's a, actually a brand new throttle cable. Um, and we've got it down inside the uh, smart carb here. It has actually broken off inside the smart carb or come undone inside there. This is, I've got about 10 hours on that smart carb with this uh, throttle cable. And finally it just severed. We were, I was up there on the top of that hill I did a pivot turn, turned the bike around, shut it off, and when I went to start it again, nothing on the throttle. And I can tell by taking my throttle apart here that um, it's not broken here at the top. I can tell it's broken on the other side, which is worse. The problem is, since I don't run the smart car very often, see those Allen, Allen uh, screws? I do not have anything with me that will turn those ones, so I don't want to strip them out. I do not have the right size because that's not something that I've normally had to carry on my bike. So if you're going to have a smart carb, you might want to figure out what size Allen screws those are and make sure you have that with you. Because as of right now, I'm going to have to push this bike out, push it up that hill right there. And then we're going to go down this canyon and I have no idea how many more hills I'm going to have to push it. Anyway, we're going to spend the night getting this sucker out of here because failure is not an option. Is it Connor? Nope. Is failure an option, Case? Nope. Nope. Failure is not an option. Oh, so I'm going to put that uh, thing back together up on top and push this sucker out of here. I'm going to raise my idle. Raising the idle. Okay, now we're gonna raise the idle as high as it'll go, like that. Then we're gonna go with the idle raise as high as I can get it. Luckily, it's mostly downhill on the way back. I'm not sure if there are any hills. Man, I didn't realize this was gonna be going this fast. I'm gonna have to. Oh, dang it, I got a sweet log crossing that I can't do. I wanted to do that log jump, but I don't have any throttle, so I'll just go over the bars. Are you guys still behind me? Okay, I'm gonna just let this baby roll. If I get down to the truck and you guys aren't there, I will get the other bike and come up, okay? Stay, stay together. I want you guys to stay together. This is so funny because the bike is actually clipping along pretty dang good because I'm in third gear or so and I'm on a high idle. This 302 stroke, this Beta, will actually pull really hard and I'm just ripping down this trail in second and third gear. I've had to click into first once. And if I don't have many, like two major uphills, I think it's gonna be just fine. I'm waiting for the boys because I was so far ahead of them. Oh, look at that baby. Look at that baby just chug through that little river crossing. Look, throttle is completely severed. I'm just making it up this hill on a high idle. Go chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it, chug it. Oh my gosh. This is a testament to the beta. Because the beta is going Thank you, Beta. And I am out. Fourth gear. See how far we can get. There is one hill here, I know. Now that I'm out, there is a hill to climb up to the parking lot where the truck is. 
And well, as you can see, all is well that ends well, my high idle trick actually worked beautifully. In fact, the boys couldn't even keep up with me. Um, even though they had full power on their bikes, they couldn't keep up with the beta at high idle. So anyway, two things that I learned. I mean, I knew this before, but you need to have the tools to pull your carburetor apart. I'd forgotten that they were tools that I don't carry with me. So you gotta have tools to take the top end of your carburetor apart. And even then, I'm not sure that I could have fixed it. We'll find out when we get back to the house. So as you can see, I was able to get the bike back to the truck by just adjusting my idle all the way up and letting this thing go nin, 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 and just rip me down the trail by shifting into third gear. Now I've taken the top of my uh, top of my carburetor off, top of the, the top part of the carburetor to reveal the slide, and I thought I was going to have a severed um, throttle cable here, but I haven't. It's actually come apart down inside the carburetor, and I'm going to pull that out and see if I can figure out why. I know it's really hard to light that, but I wanted to see if I could pick my slide out with this little pick here and show that to you. Pulling the slide out. Okay, now we're out. Let's see if we can figure out, oh, that's too close. Let's see if we can figure out why this came apart. So there's a little bit more residue on this throttle slide than I'd like to see here. I keep clean, uh, I keep clean air filters in my bike, but that is more residue than I'd like. I don't know where that's coming from but we'll clean that up. And it appears that it just, that the throttle, end of the throttle cable just came out of that. If you can see down inside of there, it just came out of there. This is the, this is like the safety that holds that in and it just came undone. I don't know why that is possible or how that's even possible. So I don't know how well you can see this, but the, th the slide on the smart carb essentially has two different notches down here. One is just, big enough for the end of the throttle cable to slide, to pop down through. And then the other is the centerpiece where it's supposed to stay in place. And then there's this little locking washer here that slides on the throttle cable up there to keep it in place. So essentially what happened is somehow, and I didn't even know that this was possible, I'll put this back together, somehow this was able to come undone in the middle of a ride and then I was kind of dead in the water. Now, if I would have had, and I've got, it, I've got it on there now, and then I'll let that washer slide down there. And that washer should theoretically keep this from being able to come out. And then obviously you've got your return spring, which I will now, which I will now install here onto that throttle cable. Theoretically, that is supposed to keep that from, from being able to do that but it happened. I had just done a pivot turn, so I popped the bike up and spun it around, which I do on all my rides all the time, and so I just performed a pivot turn on the bike, and then next thing I know, boom, I've got no, and see now my throttle is back installed, and I don't need a new throttle cable, but somehow pressure was lost just enough where that, that washer came up, and then this came apart, which is just a fluky thing. So let's see if that fix worked. I'm pretty sure it did because I can hear my throttle coming here. So obviously that's what it was. So for the first time ever, I've had a throttle slide come apart inside the carburetor when nothing was actually broken. I expected the tip of that um, throttle cable um, to be to have fallen off, but it didn't. I was able to put this thing all the way back together. Why did that come apart in the middle of a trail ride hours and hours and hours into the test on this uh, carburetor and throttle cable? I don't know. Maybe it was just kind of a little weird fluky thing. Maybe this throttle cable wasn't kind of perfect. I, the, looking at this, I don't, I'm not inclined to blame the smart carb because it doesn't look like anything's wrong in there. It looks like it was just a fluke. If anything, I think I might have a throttle cable here from Beta that is just slightly smaller than it should be and some fluky thing happened. I don't know, but I'm glad all's well that ends well. I'm not gonna blame this on Beta or Smart Carb. I think I'm just gonna call this up to a chance of fate. But I do wanna make sure to recommend that you carry with you the tools to take the top of your carburetor off. In this case, I needed a three millimeter Allen uh, Allen tool 
And I'm riding so many bikes, I just, sometimes I don't have the right tools in my kit for the bike that I'm riding. And this day, I grabbed a kit that did not have a three millimeter Allen, and because I could have taken that apart on the trail and fixed this and ridden it back. But as it was, I wasn't able to fix it until I got home. So hopefully this video might help you. Uh, if you want to support Dirt Bike Channel, you can do so by using the links down in the description for Rocky Mountain ATV. That's one of the great ways to do it. Maybe you should get a tool kit like I, <laughs> maybe you should get a three millimeter Allen key to put in your tool, in your tool pack like I obviously need to do for this bike or for when I'm run, running this carburetor. Anyway, I think that's what I've got for you guys today. And until next time, let's leave a single track. Thanks.